teacher. Hiracharu no oni san ga byouki ni natta. Hello, Yasha here. First off, I just want to say thank you to all of you guys for all of the supports I get in the last two years I've been making guys on many different social media platforms like Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and of course, Hoyo Lab. My goal for the channel is to create guys that are simple, is to understand, and lean toward casual player but deep enough for meta players to min and max. To be honest, even now, I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna run this YouTube channel since I'm a newbie at the topic. So feedbacks are always welcome and appreciated. And just to be clear, I will continue posting on all the social media like I have for the last two years. Just like you guys can hear, I had an accent because well, English is not my first language. And because of that, I try to speak loud, slow, and clear and add the caption option available so you guys can understand what is the guy talking about. With all that being done, I am now happy to announce we will be making guys on YouTube along with all the social media that you guys know me from. First, let's talk about Hotel Elemental Skill, I do after light. When activated, increase Hotel attack based on her max HP, they're very important. Convert attack damage to pyro damage. It also increase Hotel resistance to interruption and apply Blood Blossom to target after charge attack. What Blood Blossom does is it makes the target to take pyro damage every 4 seconds. This counts as an elemental skill damage. Just like her elemental skill, Hotel Elemental Burst is quite simple and straightforward as well. When activate, do AoE Pyro damage and heal you. The lower your HP, the more damage and heal it does. Hotel Passive skill, which can be unlocked at the 4th ascension, is quite useful and should be remembered. It says, whenever Hotel uses her elemental skill, all allies in the party, but who tell herself gain 12% crit rate. With all that be explained, the recommendation is to max her elemental skill and normal attack first, then slowly level up her elemental burst. Now let's talk about who tell weapons choices. You want to prioritize crits and AM. So for the 5 star sections, you had Oma, Primordial, Climity, and Sands. And other 5 star weapon is actually fine with Hotel 2. Now go to the 4 star section. We had Deathmatch, Dragon Bane, Lethic, Blackleaf, Missive, Titan, Wavebreaker, and Prototype. And for 3 star section, we had White and Black Castle. And just a reminder, that all of these graphs that I could be using in this guide will be available on my Instagram page, Facebook, and Hoyo Lab. So if you want to save it, you can go there and check it out. Now back to the topic. My recommendation are Oma, Primordial, Deathmatch, Lithic, and Blackleaf. The reason for that is quite obvious because they offer you crit one way or another. For Dragon Bane and Missive, these are a little bit different choices, but they are not bad at all because I clearly recommend it. For Dragon Bane, they give you extra damage and EM, which is very valuable since it can help you have an easier time to balance out your stat on your artifacts. For Missive, it just gives you strong attack buff. Now about White Castle. White Castle will give you crit, which is very good, but because it's a 3 star weapon, very low base attack so in order for this weapon to work you need a team that dedicate for this reason you need external attack buff if not then it's not gonna work but somehow you manage to do it like attack like Bennett Oak give you attack buff and then Zhongli and everything then yes 
it could potentially work at R5. Refinement number five. For artifacts, there are three recommendations. First will be 4P Shimanawa. It gives you 18% attack for the 2Ps and 50% damage after casting elemental skill for the 4Ps. Keep in mind, it will consume 15 energy, which can cause you to cast elemental burst less. By using this set, your attacks will do a bit more damage but a little less on elemental burst. But since it is the same domain with the emblem says, which is a must for who tell best support DPS, farming this set is quite efficient. The second recommendation is the four piece gilded dream. This is a newer set compared to the other two. At two piece, it gives you AD EM or elemental mastery, and at four piece, it gives you buffs that change depend on your teammates. After trigger an elemental reaction for the next 8 seconds, you gain 14% attack for each unit that has the same elemental type as Hu Tao, and gain 50 EM for each unit that had different elemental type as Hu Tao. With this said, it's easier to balance out your substat which we will talk in a bit, therefore you will have much better time to farm. Last but not least, it's a good old 4 piece Crimson Witch of Flames. It gives you pyro damage bonus and extra damage on pyro related elemental reaction, which is very valuable on Hutel, since Hutel can efficiently trigger elemental reaction up to 90% of the time. The only holdback for this set is, well, it's difficult to obtain. The art set is the same domain as Crimson, is level walker a set that rarely being used most efficient way to farm this set is go through all the pain in this domain get the level walker and i mean you will get level walker like it or not then you go to the crafting bench and use the strong box to reroll it strong box is a future that can be unlocked at ar or adventure rank 45. For stats that you want from your artifacts, you will be aiming for crit rate, crit damage, EM, and HP percentage. Reminder that her elemental skill gives you an attack buff that scale off your max HP. Now, about the artifact specific stat for the flower, last set, want crit, flower, same thing. For the goblet, you want to you want elemental damage bonuses. And for the circlet, you want crit. And now this is gonna depend on your weapon. If your weapon gives you crit damage, you aim for crit rate, and the opposite. Now, the most difficult part about Hu Tao is her sense. There are two available options. You had elemental mastery and HP percentage. Now, my recommendation is aim for at least 200 elemental mastery. If you can achieve elemental like if you can achieve 200 elemental mastery with out the elemental mastery sense then you can go for hp percentage sense but if you cannot then you can go for elemental mastery sense like i did huh? by the end of the day you have to go for the 77th director of wangsheng funeral parlor are crit rate at least 50 percent crit damage can be fluctuate from at least 100 to 200 depending on what are the main stats of your weapon for example type of homeless give you crit damage so you aim around 200 crit damage meanwhile dragon bane give you em therefore at least 100 is a fair benchmark for crit damage for the em try your best to hit at least or around 200 em if possible Utah Constellation is where the gacha really kicking the free to play poor soul and wallet. Utah scaled dramatically better with Constellation, but she not unplayable as C0. Like everybody make it sound to be. So it's okay, guys. It's okay. The recommendation are C1, C2, and C6 if you are that invested. At C6, Hu Tao is just Thanos, to just be on it. Now, 
about why are they strong and why are they recommended, here is C1. It said that whenever you are under effect of your elemental skill, Hu Tao chart attack do not consume stamina. This here is very big and the reason why will be shown later when I start talking about Hu Tao tech. And for constellation level 2, it say increase blood blossom damage by the amount equal to 10% of Hu Tao max HP at the time its effect is applied. Additionally, Spirit Suitor, which is her elemental burst, we also now apply Blood Blossom. Now for her C6, it said, trigger when Huta HP drop below 25% or when she suffer a little strike. Huta will not fall as a result of the damage sustained. Additionally, for the next 10 seconds, her all elemental and physical rest is increased by 200%. Her crit rate is increased by 100% and her resistance to interruption is greatly increased as well. That is crazy. It's technically saying when you about to die, you will not die, you gain a bunch of defense and you get 100% crit rate for free. Before heading to the team building sections, I gotta show you guys a full attack. It's a very iconic and useful mechanic that you should give it a try if you care about who to know. You essentially cancel your charge attacks with jumps. Doing this will help your total DPS. You charge attack, jump, and repeat. Moving to the last section, which is in beauty. For Pyro Unit in version 3.4, their best reaction is to melt and vaporize. TLDR, when targets be applied by Cryo and target hit them, that Pyro attack will deal double amount of damage, and for vaporize, that attack will deal 1.5 times damage. Therefore, for team building, I recommend building a melt or vaporize team. With these two main reactions, we can create a lot of team variations. One of them is the Geo Duo. For a vaporized team, Xingxiu, Yelan, Ayato, and Kokumi are good units to use. You can run double Hydro with Hu Tao and pair with a support unit. For a melt team, you're gonna need to get a bit more creative. We gotta combine Hydro and Cryo units together or Cryo and Animal units together. The reason behind this is, unlike Vaporize Team, we don't have a Cryo unit that can apply Cryo as quick as Sincho and Yelan applying Hydro. I recommend to pair Cryo units like Aya, Ganyu, and Rosaria with Hydro units that I mentioned earlier, or with the animal units like Kazuha or Sucrose. The last team I'm gonna mention is a variation of Vaporize Team. And once again, using Xingqiu and Yelan as Hydro Applicant, then pair them with Zhongli and Obedo. Zhongli and Obedo is an insanely good duo. Zhongli Pillar will resonate with Albedo Flower, dealing off field Geo damage while offering the Geo Resonance. Zhongli Shield also increases your total output damage by decreasing the surrounding opponent defense stat. And here are some quick runs of my hotel build in Spiral this from floor 11, chamber 1 to floor 11, chamber 3.
before ending the videos, I just want to once again say thank you to all of you guys for all of the support in the last two years. It really truly means a lot to me. With all that being said, this is your goodbye. Until next time, travelers.